Hi, we are Story Fandom, and we are here for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 2 review. Uh, if you notice, we are missing someone. Honestly, it was probably too much of us to ask for her to sit through us talking about the show she didn't like, so we decided to sort of let her sit this one out. She's actually asleep. Don't worry. She's not sitting in her room alone. Yeah, no, she's in bed. <laughs> so, it's uh, actually, what, like 11.30 right now? Yeah, it's, it's pretty late. So, uh, we won't be too loud or crazy or animated, but we'll try and give you our genuine reactions to the episode. So, um, go ahead. Is there anything we want to start off with? How you guys felt about the episode? I liked it. Me too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, do we want to talk? I don't know. We got a list here. Kevin? <laughs> what do you guys think about him? I think he gets up the shit end of the stick every time. Poor guy. All the time. All the time. Er, yeah. All day, every day. <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. I apologize. And you just said hello earlier baby. tonight. She said hello earlier? Yeah, she, she was watching your show and she said, this looks like it's going to get hella dramatic and up in here and something like that. <laughs> That's what I get when I throw an hour of bed. It is late, and there are aliens outside. They're not. Oh my god! It looks like aliens. It it's looks clearly like the apocalypse. Aliens. Okay, Sam and Dean failed. It's aliens. Sam and Dean. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> supernatural. Clearly, it's the apocalypse. They had an aliens episode. They did. Aliens. Anyway, <laughs> so. Yeah, I, 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 I can't even. Next are you conspiring with them. So, um, yeah, I think I feel good that when I'll say here that Kevin, I don't even know how Kevin got the badass status in the first place. I mean, I get that he was cast down by God, but. Well, if you're bad enough to be, like, cast down by God himself, the only other person who has is Lucifer. So, so they would yeah. hold him to Lucifer status, you know. But look at him. It's like when Chrissy Teigen was like, it's like attacked on Twitter by Trump by He's name. Like, you know, she got like the badass chick rep from that. Mm. When like didn't she already have that rep but for being if, sarcastic? She was like, but mm. if God cast you down Himself, obviously you're important enough to have pissed off God. I guess it's just that I, I don't know. Pissed off God. I don't know. I just feel that's probably a little forced to me, but no, that's just me. Yeah. Um, sure, sure. <laughs> so the whole moving into other things, the whole Petra Wiener thing was kind of. Mm. Okay, I love Berwina. I do not love Catch with that tan and tan suit. It was like matchy matchy, a bit much, and I. Definitely don't love their flirting. Oh, it was, yeah, it's like watching your mom and dad <laughs> flirt. It's like, Except oh, it's God. not. No, and no, then no, like no. when he was doing the science uh, thing, and it was oh my but, God, yeah, they like made the that sexual. Or whatever. <laughs> but guys, guys, you're forgetting the age gap. This isn't your mom and dad flirting. This is like you're so much still attractive it's like older your aunt. Mom and dad. <laughs> Okay, I get that my father was 13 oh. years older than my mother, but that's besides the point. She's like 600 years older than Ketch. Exactly. So this is like when you've got that one aunt that's kind of still pretty, flirting with a 15-year-old, like, pool boy. It's like, it's mm. even worse. Mm. It's the same thing. That's what that was. That wasn't mom and dad. That was... Yeah, that's it's like, you got nothing in common. I mean, you used to date Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Who, well, by the way, yeah. really? I don't know. That's not what I would picture Jack the Ripper as looking like, personally. No, that's like Colonel Sanders. Yeah. <laughs> that was not... Uh. <laughs> you kind of sound like Colonel Sanders. He did. <laughs> they killed it for me. Yeah. He was not that intimidating. And catch for all the things guys can do he kept going down like a bitch in this episode and I would like to say I'm sorry to your mom and dad for that one I was just picking on you not them oh I see how it is I'm fair game I'm fair game um I love you guys 
But, but, did anyone else feel like Ketch kept going down too easy in this episode? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly. He hit him with a rock or something. What did he hit him on that? Like a brick. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know he was angry with his hand. I just saw that he hit him and Ketch just kind of That was just like, for everything this guy did, I mean, he supposedly died. Well, he's supposed to be this badass X Men of Letters, but like, seriously, he went down like a bitch. Um, there was a wharf effect, I think. He was too busy hitting over Lena. Mm. Yeah, maybe he was distracted. I was just, I was just wrong. We kept covering our eyes. That was just bad. Nobody wants to see that, guys. Nobody. And I love Rowena. She can do better than catch. She can do better than catch. Don't settle. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> that tan skin and that tan suit. Got no style. What? <laughs> and for an assassin, he is a bitch. You need to go down to the I'm mean. going to assassinate a demon. Then I get taken out by a ghost in a rock. How'd they get the chain off him? That's a good question. They can't touch it. It's iron. Yeah. Another good question I have is speaking of iron. A stick. They used a stick. So that gun. It is the ultimate stick. Remember that gun he had? The one that was supposed to be the ultimate, like, uh. <laughs> the ultimate, the ghost thing, which did the iron flakes. To, to oh, kill. the iron confetti. <laughs> so. The confetti gun. Yeah. Pinkie Pie They is so shot jealous. catch. With iron bullets to knock the ghost out of him, mm. but his whole thing with that gun was supposed to be you could shoot it at the person and it would kill the ghost well, and the spell was about hurting. So what happened? Using that one. No, but what happened to the two people that were possessed? And he shot them with that gun. Remember the, the, d- the husband? He didn't shoot he them. Didn't. He, he shot, shot them over them, them, and then the iron just went like. Yeah, but my point is, is, so that gun's supposed to exist to get rid of the ghost of hurting the person. Mm-hmm. What happened to those people? Well, they never went back. They didn't talk to anyone. Did they just Maybe die? they crawled to freedom. <laughs> they like army man crawled. We'll see the next episode still crawling. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's the new spinoff. Bloodlines didn't make it, but their adventures crawling back to safety. Well. I believe it. Mm-hmm. They'll make anything nowadays. So, uh, the next... I mean, shit, we make this. <laughs> the next point on our little list here is your complaint. I don't see what your problem with his expressions and emotions and stuff with this. He has no emotions. He does, a lot, though. But a lot of emotions come from your eyes. I'm talking about Bell, by the way. Yeah, and the sunglasses. Nobody mentioned that. I have no problem with it personally. I think he I, has enough expression for the I mean, dude with sunglasses. I love him, and I love his reactions, and I love his snarkiness, and all of that, and I'm on board. But it's very, very hard to get past the fact that he doesn't, he only has an expression from here down. No, no, no. See, see, that is where you're wrong. <laughs> Okay. I think I know where he's going here. Where? Forehead. No. Okay, never mind. I thought he said he was just from here up as well. I was able to see the eyebrows above the sunglasses. I don't know if anyone else was. Okay, look. <laughs> I can say a lot with my eyes. A lot of people can say a lot with their eyes. Pokemon say a lot with their eyes. I'm just saying. Well, at least we don't have a terrible narrator narrating what they're saying. And even with his mouth, you can see it in his, like, the way he talks. I know, but that's what bothers me, is it's just like, it would be like if I did these videos like this all the time. I'm gonna do it like this. Except you wouldn't do a good job. Does it have enough? So the difference that's is you wouldn't do a good job. Ow, I bit my own cheek. <laughs> It doesn't bug me any less or noticeable than it was the first episode, but you seem to really get bothered this episode by it. Yeah. Why? I think because I just, I feel like 
they're going to have to do something to move past that because at some point someone is going to notice the burnt under the fucking sunglasses too. At some point someone's got to do something about it. So can well, we please handle that like makeup. now uh, ASAP? Makeup. I'm just saying. You know, there's a probably a pretty good chance of Jack coming back. I mean, we know he woke up in the darkness in the oh, last that season. So much better. I know. I don't want Jack to come back. I just want his eyes to be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Even with his like mouth and half sorry, of his eyebrows or whatever, it just would even with all that. Sorry, it's, Demi. Know, it's gonna take you like three days to check. figure out what I just whispered right there. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Now we just solved the three day problem. What do you, what do you think of next? So, um, next, <sighs> I, I gotta tell you, I do think that Amara is gonna come back to save Dean. Because I know, you kept saying that. I don't think she's gonna care that much. I think if she does do it, it's gonna be despite Chuck. Mm -hmm. And by the way, being a total bitch about this bullet in the uh, shoulder thing because. Sam's got well, it too. It's probably like the whole thing where when the demons like get slightly cut with that whole demon blade thing, where it like takes away some of their power and weakens them. That's probably what it is. Is that gun weakened him, and that shot weakened him? Well, I think it weakened him because it linked him to Sam, mm -hmm. and so yeah. like the reason Sam can't heal yeah, so is because God not being is hurt. A bitch about it, he's pissed off be and he's feeling weak and vulnerable because his powers are like. You're just a Chuck Not defender, aren't you? I am. Don't take Chuck. But, I know, I, I do think... I get that Chuck betrayed them. But I love Rob Benedict. <laughs> I don't care. Well, I he I could, think that... He could you give them poop Benedict. cookies. Oh. I don't care. You love every Benedict. They don't know what poop cookies means, though. They will one day. One day. Today is not that day. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I do think that despite <laughs> the fact that they're no longer connected, that, you know, she's going to have a soft spot for Dean. And when she finds out what Chuck's done, not only will she want to help Dean because she doesn't want him to get hurt, she'll also want to help Dean and Sam just because of the, the fuck her I brother think over. it's going to be like the actress was putting out there where it's like so you came after me you tried to stop me you saved the world we made peace we were gonna have our space just for you to blow everything up really I think it's gonna be more that I think she's just gonna Which be pissed at Chuck still did not like hold I, I can't my wrap my head around the fact that this isn't this is going so slow. This is God. If you wanted to unleash hell, and he apparently emptied all of hell. Do. It's a traffic jam. <laughs> There's a but why? He's God. He turned the sun out okay. for a bit. It's like... No, not going to do it. Sorry, internet. <laughs> <laughs> it was about to get real inappropriate up in here for me to like. He didn't explain. like teleport them to the earth he yeah, opened he all opened the gates the door. So, but why so they didn't he get out. but he didn't open all the gates if he opened all the gates there wouldn't be a traffic jam they wouldn't be coming out well, one all the little gates, it's one it would be like all the gates town. Town. but it would be like if all of us tried to walk out of this door in this room at one time well that's my we point couldn't. he's God we'd get stuck why didn't he open up everything why aren't there... Do you think there are, like, windows in here? <laughs> like, but there's got to be more than one door, so he's got all the mountains in the middle. Why does there have, have to be? be? Because it's not the same spot that the door that opened to hell in the second season. It's a different spot. How I mean, do you know? Because that was in the middle of a cemetery. Did you look it up? He <laughs> <laughs> looked it up. Looked I did it up. not look it up. <laughs> but that was in, TV like... Um, tropes. I will look it up now. Well, not right now, now. But I will look it up. <laughs> okay, we're shaking the camera. Sorry. Anyway, there's got to be more than one opening. Why can't Even if there's more than one opening, there's billions and billions of souls. Then why are they attacking other places? Why is it just this one spot? Why is Chicago not being overrun? 
Okay, why is it New York? We don't watch Ghostbusters. We know how that would work. Maybe he just opened the door that was closest to him. But because why? He he's did God. It, but didn't he get shot before he opened everything? Because he was pissed. But he got shot before he opened everything, so maybe he only had enough power to open one. That's not that big of a thing. This is like, you know, he was just this is like okay, you just okay, like, like his life. I have a semi tractor trailer and I ripped off a panel from it. Can it still he, barrel okay. through a house and the open the entire thing, thing up? Open floor plan. He, yes, he, this is a semi. He wasn't He's pissed God. about the whole world. He was pissed He's, at Sam and Dean and that's yeah. where they were. Yeah, exactly. But he then he decided he was done with them. the world because of them. Yeah, but he wanted them to hurt specifically. He's not going to yeah. blow up the whole world, and then the whole world is destroyed, and he doesn't get it to relish in the fact that they got tortured. No, he's going to make it slow. If I were killing somebody, <laughs> and I were really, really upset at them, I would take it very... Well, I don't know. I'm sorry. Again. The point is, Chuck was pissed about Sam and Dean and them, so he so unleashed everything that's closest to them. them. It was in the soul. Right? It was geared the, at them. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Alright. The core of I don't believe you. Alright. was them. <sighs> I think we're right. Whatever. Alright, because that was cool. <laughs> Alright. And so finally. If you haven't noticed by now, we're usually on the same page. Max, too. Yeah. No, Max is on my page, right, Max? Come here, Max. And I know. Bear. You're on my page. And like, no, bear. I want to be on your page. Thanks, Max. He's going to share. Max is 50 50. Okay. He's equal opportunity. He's pet's opportunity. You pet him. He's cool with you. Um, anyway. You just got to have. Yeah, yeah you got the part the fart comes out of. <laughs> no, I, I do. He butts against my leg. I, I didn't even do anything. I have like his back, anyway, stomach. Anyway, so the final thing we're going to talk about is the whole Dean. How Kaz do you describe moment? it? Dean Kaz real. Yeah, the both of them. Dean. Dean is just like done with everything. Yeah, How's but it? I get it. Like, I mean, I everything they've done has been controlled by somebody else. Imagine you're writing your book, okay? Mm -hmm. And your characters are actually real people, though. And then they find out that everything they did was just stuff you made up. Like, you outline your books. Mm -hmm. You always have everything planned. You know where it's going to go. Not I don't. Everything. Well, but we're the opposite. I don't have everything planned. So, m in my scenario, my books, my writings are like the world. My characters have free will. They go where they're going to go. They say what they're going to say. I don't choose for them. But you are Sam and Dean. You have pretty much put them on this path and said, look, this is where you're going. This is where you're going to end up. You could veer a little bit to do a couple of other things, but you're still going to end up here. No, and it's still going to end this way. And that's it. Holy shit, you don't know my writing process at all. They have their moment to figure out. No, but I'm out. saying, in Supernatural, that's why yeah. he's pissed. Oh my god, we're not going to discuss writing. Ways of writing. No, you just you use my writing process as an example. We have it right. Oh my god. I'm just saying. It's not how I write. But, that's what he's mad about, is instead of having all this free will and these things happening because that's what other people chose, it's not. Chuck was always pulling the strings. It was yeah, always going to go a certain way. He was never going to let the apocalypse actually play through because it was too good of a show. He w well, you see, no, but that's why I think I actually have to start with Kaz, where he would have. Because he, basically, Sam and Dean are, do have free will. Chuck is just it's less of an author and more like a dungeon master from D&D. They go do something, and he'd be like, hey, look over here, guys. Look at this big, huge thing right here. Yeah, it's the end of the world. You better stop that. And so Sam and Dean could just say, nah, fuck that. We're out. But because of who they are, they never did. They have to keep trying to save people moving forward. So he didn't control them. They had free will, but he totally abused but their nature to raise a... Uh, but no, see, that's the thing. But 
It's that's still what Kaz said. Yeah, but that's what Kaz was saying. When Gene said, then what's real? Kaz said, we are. Because... Yeah, but you can see where Dean was coming from. Yeah. I'd be pissed And don't get me wrong, I think Cass is being really fucking annoying, too. Because I have... He's being... Judgy. Yeah. He's like... I mean... These are guys who lost their mom, and they lost their dad, and they lost a lot of people, all to entertain a dude in a robe who eats Chinese food and watches them. From afar, like it kind of sucks. Wait, I don't think we're talking about me right now anymore. I'm glad because I haven't tripped over that joke any worse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Lights are not normal street lights, bro. They aren't normal street lights. Have you seen lights. them? It's the truck yard. I know, but it's creepy. Because there's fog everywhere. But I'm saying that's why it looks like aliens. It does. So, aliens. who do you side with? Never mind. You side with your mother and Dean. We yeah, side with Dean. Dean and Kaz. Oh. like that. Please save me. I side with Dean. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, I get why he feels that way. I get his perspective. But I think that Kaz is actually right. You're not going to feel bitter. Someone does that to you. Kaz doesn't look like he's happy. I mean, honestly, Kaz is being annoying. The whole Kaz is trying to be a cheerleader to Dean. He's, he's always trying to be a cheerleader. But no, Kaz is being annoying with his whole, you know, I, I don't think we should be doing it this way, guys. I, the, uh, this, uh, this, this bell, bell, oh, God, I hate everyone. Oh, this bell guy ruined, oh, take a jack's body. Oh. So, okay, Kaz, I get that you're not happy, but seriously, you stop bitching about everything. So, Kaz is annoying. What? <laughs> Is, is that you look because of, because of his impression? Mm-mm. Cat kettle. Essay over right now. Mr. Kettle, Mr. Pot called. He says you're black! Racist. Okay, now you see that? That was racist. <laughs> That's the joke. I know, but... You know where I'm going with this. Yeah, I know. You're <laughs> quoting a... Uh... It's not just that. You're not getting it. <laughs> oh, I'm getting it. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Poop cookies. I don't know. I'm just trying to alleviate the tension. If you're curious about poop cookies, by all means, ask in the comments. We'll make a video about it sooner that way. Like. Subscribe. Bell, comment, yes. you'll hear all about poop cookies, <laughs> and the poop bed, and Lion King. Well, Lion King wouldn't be soon anyhow if it's coming out on DVD. Spoiler, she loves it. I'm going to turn the video off now so you don't watch her murder me. What is it, uh... The, your favorite character from wrestling says, Oh, yeah. Bye, Wincy in hell. He is not my He's favorite. Not favorite. <laughs> I'm dead now. Do not even go there. <laughs>